Welcome back. Now, some 100 migrants are believed to have died at sea off the coast of Libya. That's according to unconfirmed reports from the Libyan Red Crescent on Tuesday. The International Organization of Migration says more than a half a million migrants and refugees have crossed the Mediterranean to Europe this year. Almost 3,000, including many Africans, have died making the attempt. IOM reported this week 2,000 new arrivals in Italy and over 20,000 in Greece. Now, the Greek ambassador to the U.S., Christos Panagopoulos, spoke with Africa 54's Alexis Christophorus about the challenges facing the new Greek government, including the refugee crisis. Ambassador Panagopoulos, Europe's migrant crisis has hit Greece particularly hard. It's the first port of call for hundreds of thousands of refugees from war and persecution in the Middle East and elsewhere. How is Greece tackling this crisis in an efficient and humane way? Let me give you the outline here. Uh, Greece is battered by the economic crisis for the last six years, lost 25% of its uh, GDP. In the middle of this terrible economic crisis, we are called to face at the forefront one of the worst humanitarian crises on a global scale. But uh, we are a migrant nation. We know what to do. We want to help. The thing is that uh, the crisis, uh, the refugee crisis, is of such a scale that, as everybody agrees, we need to join forces. One single nation is not possible to uh, do with it. That's what we're trying to do, and as we speak, there is an extra-European summit in Brussels trying to convince everybody participating in the European Union that we have to join forces. So we do our best. Uh, we have, uh, I, I can tell you, so many moving stories of Greeks going out of their way to help these uh, uh, people that are coming at, uh, at our shores. But at the same time, I have to tell you, from the beginning of the year, more than 250,000 people, they landed in a few islands uh, mm -hmm. in Greece, and it's simply not possible to cope with this. Well, moving over to the economy now, which is the other big story for Greece, with the elections now behind you, does this mean Greece will have a respite from political upheaval for a while and be able to concentrate on getting its economic house in order? If there's one single message of the elections of last Sunday is that the clear cut uh, a message of uh, uh, political stability. Everybody agrees that uh, it was a clear cut uh, uh, message from the people of Greece and uh, uh, there's no elections in the near future. Actually, to be correct, the next three, four years we are not going to face uh, elections being not the presidential parliamentary or local elections. What does it mean? It's going to provide much needed political stability. In order to try and stabilize the system, the first, uh, I mean, uh, the step number one, and then to deal with the economic crisis. We, we have already, as you know, um, an agreement with our lenders and partners, more than 90 billion uh, US dollars that are going to be available for Greece to meet our immediate, for the next three years at least, our immediate needs. At the same time, uh, uh, stabilize our banking system and then do the reforms and regain the confidence, which is the magic word, because it's going to lead us to growth. And when we achieve growth, we're talking about normalization of the economy much easier. Ambassador Christos Panagopoulos, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Alexis, thank you very much.